Here we are, back at it again. Another vlog after four, about four weeks off, I think I was. It was absolutely murder, mate. Not coming for that long. It killed me. But still, we're back, back on the bank. Bit of carp fishing. So I've been out, done a bit of a, done a bit of fishing, but I say it's just been local on the River Wandle. Been fishing on there, say so something have a few like family stuff. Things with the kids and that for the last four weeks and cars getting MOT'd and serviced, so it's uh, kept me off the bank. But mate, oh, I'm, I'm buzzing to get back today. Absolutely buzzing. The only downside is it's not the lake we wanted to fish really. We wanted to go to Johnson's, but it was absolutely rammed. Uh, we're going to end up on Buzzbridge. Try our luck 24 hours, see how we get on. As I say, I'm not expecting too much, so if we do winkle one out, I'll be absolutely over the moon. As we said before, low stock on here, 30, 30, 35 carp. Biggest is always the one I've had, 35 pound. But I say the, the average stock is the upper 20s. So, uh, everything to go for. I've had a bream already. I say it is a bit late now, it's now uh, 10 o'clock. But, um, yeah, because of the rain and everything this morning, I couldn't get everything set up. I was trying to get it all done. And then I had a problem with me. The old Coleman stopped working. So I was uh, poncing around with that. I managed to get that back up and going again. Hopefully you can bail me through this session. And I'll order a new, I think it's the generator's gone in it, which they're known for, isn't they? The old Coleman's, was it Sports Star, whatever they are, dual fuel. But so I managed to make a cup of tea, so I'm all good. So the rods are out, usual spots here, same swim as always. One underneath the tree, one a couple of rod lips out. Left hand rod, I've already had a bream on it, but I was expecting that, so I put a little bag of pellet with that one. But uh, they say it's not what we're after, but still made the art go, made me jump up. The whole backdrop that it was. Weird, isn't it? Even though you know it's a bream, the first bite, it still makes you jump up, doesn't it? Ollie. But they say, yeah. Good to be back. And I say, uh, it fits a lot different to doing the old river fishing that I've been doing lately. As soon as I ain't been able to get out, as I said before, again, repeating myself. Hopefully we can pack one. So I've got both on the Ronnie rigs. Right, and what I've got on a, uh, what have I got that on? On pineapple. Left hand one I've got on a white chocolate orange sticky bait. Got a bit of sticky manila pellet over there, some scopex this week. Yeah, just see how we get on. There's, you never expect too much here because it is a tough lake, where it is for me anyway. So, uh, yeah, I thought I'd just give you an update, new new, vi new video or vlog. And just hope we can get one out. So I'm going to sort out a bit of breakfast in a minute. I'm starving. And then, uh, where we are from that. So we've got Mike with me this week, my brother-in-law. We've got my uncle Cliff, so there's three of us. Makes a change. But we was gutted that we couldn't get on Johnson, to be honest. We was all a bit disheartened, but we try not to let it ruin the session. And uh gonna try and keep at it. That does look good out there. Quick. I think as I say, use your spots. One underneath that tree there, right in that alcove. And then I say one's just a cut of rod limbs out into the middle. I say most of the carp you see them, they're always in the uh you know, no longer margins here, really, to be honest. But, um, lovely lake to be at. Beautiful. An absolutely stunning lake, especially when the sun's out on a summer's day here. That's just probably one of the best lakes, picturesque I've ever fished. But that's where we're at. I'm going to go sort them out now, get some food on the go, keep rubbing my ass together because it's a bit chilly. I've got the old shorts on still. But let's just hope we have one. So I wouldn't mind any, any one of us to have one, to be honest, the three of us out of here. Good just to see one come out. I'm just going to get that rod in and then uh, I'll put it back out. So I might as well film that as well. My left hand rod needs freshening up. When I was caught that bream, I was trying to fix my Coleman. I had those screws everywhere. So I just literally just flopped it back out there quickly. I've just made a, uh, a fresh PVA bag. 
Whoa. And uh, I'll get it back on there and uh, uh, I'll just bring it all in and film it, get it on camera, what I'm doing here. Ah, uh, then here we go, let's get this one in. That's well loose. Ugh. Bit of weed out there. A good bit of weed out there. Back lid off. There we go. So what I'm doing is clean that camera because it's rotten. I can see the mist across the camera. There we go, I made it worse. There we go. Just need to move this a minute. Get a bit of clock out. Yes. You go over there. I can get that out then. Oh, here we go. Oh, took me old bag on. Oops, it's a bit too much. Good old Carver's Essentials hooks. Absolutely love their tackle. If you ain't used them or seen them yet, go and check them out. Carver's Essentials. For the money, I tell you, they've never let me down any of their stuff that they've got there. So I'm not one. I know these videos are all just pumping tackle and shit in people's faces, but I can honestly say I really recommend Carpenter Essentials for your hooks, your leaders, your lead clips, all your terminal tackle. And Steve over there, he's a, what a legend he is, mate. Proper lovely fella. Always good for a chat and that once now you're getting on and even if like you ain't got to be a member, like a, what do they call it, an ambassador or all that rubbish. He's just, he's, he's just one nice fella, always genuine. Genuine once now you're getting on. Regardless if you're a team member, that's the word I was looking for, a team member. Regardless if you're a team member or not, he's up there for everyone. So I have used his stuff since, well, since the first the two, three years, I think it must be now. He's never let me down. And his hooks, especially the elite range. What what hooks, they're pucker. And I think at the minute he's got a new things, a few things coming out as well. So yeah, Carpers Essentials. Go give him a hit. Go and check them out. All social medias he's on. But his prices are absolutely brilliant. Can't knock them on. Compared to the prices of some of the stuff these days. It's nice to save a few quid in some places. Let's say, look, that's all glugged up. A little bit of glug. Sticky chocolate orange. Limited edition pop up. Two, is that a two ounce? Yeah, two ounce lead. Let's, uh, let's get it out there. Back lead on, rods out there, as I say, it's only a, just a little flick underneath. It's, you don't really need to be casting that too far here. So I've never seen them out there, but it's just to put one out. And then we look, just try your luck out there as well, cover, cover options. 
Uh, so that's the back lid on. I always like back lid in. Don't know why. I've just always done it, I think. <laughs> From the par lake. So another couple of weeks. Then uh, that'll be opened again. We'll be back up there. Looking forward to getting on there, to be honest. That's it. Get the bobbin clipped up. Mine clip. Get that there. Bob's job's a good one. That's it. We're fishing again. Yes, so long last. There we go. Right. So the other one I'm just going to leave out because that's been fine. I don't like moving that one. That's, I like that little spot there. You can do everything by arm, you know. A nice fishing, clean. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to go see Mike and then uh, catch up with you in a little while. Hopefully we've got a big whopper on the bank. But say so, yeah, I'll uh, catch up with you in a bit when I do the rods or if something happens. And, uh, we'll go from there and see what we're doing then. Till then. Peace out. Cheers. Right. I'm saying uh, nothing much has really happened. So, uh, there's nothing to really update on at all. Nothing at all. Say, so I've been uh, keep looking and that, been watching, been up and around the lake about three or four times, not seen anything at all. And I've only got Free bream and a tench to my name. No carp. And obviously the bream and that are not what I'm after. So uh, I've not been a bit more filming them. Not what we want, is it? The old bream. So I thought I'd just bring the woods in now. Put some fresh bait on, get them back out there. And that'll be for the night. So I'm just going to get these in. And then... Uh, Get some fresh bait on here quick. I don't know if you can see me. <clears throat> Ouch. Oh. What do I want to put on here? Let's put one of these pink ones on. Another bait on there. Now it's been slow. I ain't seen nothing going on. Nothing's been really happening at all. It's been um, uneventful, to say the least. Still, <clears throat> got till the morning. We're off here at, uh, I, think, I forget what time we're leaving now. Probably about seven, eight o'clock. Get that for the old family duties, as you do. So it's going to do a bag and I'll put a bag on this one. I should have had all this prep really before. Just saved a lot of arson about. Bag of pellet. And hopefully we can uh, nick a bite in the night. <laughs> Rhymed. Yeah, so it's been, uh, I think the weather today, we've been fucking awful. We've had all seasons in one day today. Rain, wind, thunder, lightning, <laughs> sunny. No, it looks like it's been, if you look out there, on the across the lake, you'd think it was a summer's day. Funny. My mate's fishing at Johnson's as well, the lake I wanted to get on. He said it's fishing slow, so it looks like we haven't missed out too much by not being able to get on there. Right. Got that all set back up. Oh, bollocks. Let's just ping that back out. Nope. Nick one. So I've been putting this one in the middle of the lake a bit more. I'm going to put fish in both in the margins. And then, uh,
Just get the back legs back on. I don't know what was doing there. My phone was ringing. <laughs> what a nightmare session, eh? Still. Let's get that on. Tighten this one down. I say my right hand rod. I think I'm going to leave that out there, to be honest. As I said before, is uh, I know it's cleaning and it's fishing. There's nothing that disturbing it. I feel like if I bring, keep bringing it in and out because it's in the margin, even though I made a disturbance for doing this, that it's going to... Uh, ruin it. So I might just leave that one out there for another half hour. Ain't gonna get dark till another hour or so yet. Then we'll go from there and see what's going on. But look at that. Looks stunning. It's a shame there's no fish to go with it. All set up. And we're fishing. I say there's not much um another boring vlog really this week. Oh, bloody flies. Jesus Christ. Bit of a boring one. No fish. It's a bit depressing, isn't it? Same old thing on the vlog, nothing to really say. So it ends up just dragging them out. Which ain't no good. It's become boring. So if you have stayed uh stayed tuned till now, appreciate that. Uh, I don't know what more to do. Trying to get one tonight. It just feels like you should. It feels like it's going to do a bite. But uh, yeah, who knows? But there's uh, not much more to report on than that, to be honest. Bit of a uh, bit of a slog. But still, it's nice to be out. A lovely down here as well. Just want to give a big shout out and all to one of my good pals. Uh, uh, gone fishing vlog. If you haven't uh, heard of him already, go and check him out on YouTube. Him and his son, Charlie. Good old Charlie boy. Showing his old man how it's done all the time. Well, inside. But yeah, gone fishing vlog. I'm looking forward to getting out with him in a couple of weeks when the Park Lake opens. We're going to do a little social up there for a couple of nights, hopefully. Get him and his boy down. I'm looking forward to that. So again, if you haven't checked him out, go and have a check, go and have a look on YouTube. Gone fishing vlog. Got some quality footage, uh, quality content. Good lads, and uh, you know, just straight to the point with everything. No beating around the bush. What you see is what you get with them. So you go and go, go and check them out. Well worth a watch. As for me, I'm uh, putting up another blanking video. By the looks of it, <laughs> hey. So if anyone wants any tips on how to blank and how to pass time, put your comments below and uh, I can share my tips and hints on uh, how to pass time. <laughs> Back here now. Still, that's look banging. I'm not going to take too much time now. I'm just going to cut this off and then uh, get the kettle on, have a little bite to eat, dinner time. And then uh, tea will be over then. And what I will do is, if anything happens until then, between the night and now in the morning, I shall sure give you a little update. Hopefully we can land one of these nice bangers out there. But who knows? A matter of time and that waiting game. So it's nice to be out again after a few weeks though. Okay. I shall... Uh, Catch up in a little while, if something happens then. Peace out.